Hey guys, this is Davis again from Davis Comic Finds, and uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, I've been promising Kyle to show off some of my Sonic stuff. I think every kid that grew up around that uh, the time we did uh, ended up with some Sonic stuff along the way. Ended up playing Sonic the Hedgehog. I was more of an SNES guy, but uh, I still played Sonic. I think everybody played Sonic, but. It wasn't until later that I actually got a Genesis, you know, because I chose the Super Nintendo, but but I still played it with friends and stuff, so. But anyways, thought I'd show off. I'm going to show off some games and some comics like he did. Uh, I won't try to copy him. I won't try to be uh, as charismatic as him. I know I can't be, but uh, I thought I'd show what I have, and I realized today that I don't have a copy of Sonic the first Sonic game. I can't believe it. I thought I had a copy. I must have accidentally sold it off or something thinking I had another copy. I don't know. But, uh, but I do have Sonic 2. This is the one that came with the Genesis. Of course it's called the Master System I think over in the UK. But uh, it's called the Genesis here. And as you can see there's the back. One to two players. One or two players. And uh there it is. So that's the second one. So I've got the second one. I've got the third one. The box art looks like very different on, on these than the ones that Kyle showed. Uh, this is the third Sonic game. You can see the back of it. Welcome to the next level. So this thing was a poster thing. So I have a poster for another Sega game. Eternal Champion. So and it showed off some of the games for the system. And then of course you've got the manual and you've got a uh a enclosed winners instruction manual. I don't know what that is. I guess that's for the magazine, but, uh, so I got that one, and usually these save games have the boxes, at least over here, I don't know about over there, because they were plastic, whereas Super Nintendo games, the cardboard things, you, you, you don't see boxes as much, and usually if you do, they're really dinged up. This is one of the few Sega games that actually came in a box, so I've got a copy of Sonic and Knuckles. This actually goes with Sonic 3 and you can use it with Sonic 2. As you can see, you can lock it in. And uh, I don't know if the manual's in here or not. Yeah, it is actually. So, we got the manual there and the game. So that's pretty cool. And then I also have a copy of Spinball. It doesn't have the manual. And Sonic 3D Blast. I've only got the cartridge of it. I don't have the box to it. And then also another game that I found while I was sifting through stuff, I've actually got Sonic Chaos, Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos for Game Gear. And I have a Game Gear, but it doesn't work. The screen doesn't work anymore. I don't know. So I know that's, I've heard about that happening a lot, so I don't know what happened to it. I guess I have to get it fixed if I want to play it. Um, so that's my games. Those are the classic ones. Of course, you know, like I said, I noted. It's called the Genesis here. It's called the Master System there, but you know, the games are the same. So if you want to see the gameplay for those games, go check out Kyle's video. And uh, he's better at video editing than I am, I think. Uh, next two, I ha I've had these two since I was a kid. Uh, I'd like better copies of them, but uh, I just haven't went out and got them. This one actually has the cover, which was rare for me. If I had a, a comic from when I was a kid, it's usually the cover's gone. But uh, 
This is Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 36, and I always love that cover. I mean, that's epic. That guy right there. And this one doesn't have the cover anymore. And this is actually a harder book to find, and usually it's pretty expensive. You know, 20, 30 bucks. But it is Supersonic versus Hyper Knuckles, number one, from 1996. So I would have been eight, right around eight years old. And I always thought that this was a really cool book. I'll open it up and show you. I always like the art on these Archie books. I mean, I usually don't get Archie books, but I always liked, I mean, I always liked the art on those. I mean, you got a splash page right there. But then the the best part is like this. I always love this one. I always thought that was really cool. So, so anyways, I'd like to find me a better copy of that one sometime. Don't really want to pay 30, 40 bucks for it, but I would like to find a copy. Uh, next up, save those two later. I've got some of the modern, more modern Sonic books. Uh, this is Sonic Universe, number nine. And I've just picked these up in dollar bin. Number ten. Number eleven. And number twelve. And then a recent pickup, which I've showed before, was uh, number eighty-one. Now the big thing, the big, biggest Sonic item in my collection is related to this next book. And I actually have two copies of the book. One's in better shape than the other one. This one's a little dented up. But this is Sonic issue number 133. And it's a really cool cover. I've got two copies of it. And there's a particular page that has significance in here. trying to find it real quick. It's this page right here. And you say, well what's special about that page? It's got tails on it, but and he's flying, up, flying his plane and everything. Well, I actually met Stephen Butler, the guy who drew this book, a few years back. He was at a con. He had some pages, but I didn't buy one. I regret not buying one. But I went online not that long afterwards. Uh, I didn't know how much he was selling his pages for. And I went online and uh, some guy was reselling some of the pages that he had got there in Knoxville. And uh, managed to get this for like 20, 25 bucks. So it's the original art for that page. It's issue 133. This is page 4 by Stephen. And of course it's signed by Stephen Butler down at the bottom. But I mean, come on. How cool is that? Tails flying through there. And it's plain. I know it's not Sonic, but I was really happy to grab that. And for that price, you can't beat that. So, that's my Sonic stuff. Uh, that's, this is for Kyle. Uh, just wanted to show off some of the stuff that I'd picked up a lot, uh, in my life. Uh, some of the stuff I've had for a long time, some of it I've not had that long. But uh, but anyways, that's my stuff. Uh, check out uh, Mr. Rick Remortis 86. He's always putting up good videos, Tats Comics. Uh, really, both those guys, or Mr. Rick Remortis 86 just put up like a, a drawing tutorial and I mean really did a good did a good job drawing Sonic uh, yeah as someone who can't draw uh, I, I find that amazing because I can't I can't draw stick figures well so and check out Tad's comic because he always puts up videos of, of his drawing and he's really good and uh, uh, the Doom 143's contest is up so I need to make a video for it but uh but I invite everybody else, hey, make a video if you haven't yet. Uh, lots of good prizes in that contest. And and 
Joe Hulk, I guess is his name. I hope I got that right. Uh, he's got something going on right now. He's got a GoFundMe. Uh, or, yeah, it's a GoFundMe. Up uh, for uh, some of his mother's. Uh, his mom has been sick. And uh, she is uh, uh, having to go back and forth. And has a lot of travel expenses and stuff. So, uh, check that out. I'll try to get a link and put it in the description. And, uh... Yeah, and he's got a he's he's giving away a uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, I think. But uh, I encourage you to give, anyways. I mean, it doesn't that that's just a secondary thing. That's I mean, at the end of the day, it's just it's more important just to give, not expecting give, expecting to get anything back. I mean, that's that's my opinion. But I mean, others might see that differently, but. Yeah, just go check that out. I'll try to get a link in the description. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and have a great rest of the day.